Hey guys, this is Wicked 6M, and today I have with me the Xiaomi Mi 4i, and this video is about the USB support for this phone. So this phone does support an OTG functionality, and for that you will be requiring an OTG cable, of course. Since this phone has a very limited memory, that is 16 GB, so you can use your OTG cable for connecting your pen drive, your hard drives. and your memory cards to this phone so for that you will be requiring an otg cable and otg cable is different from that of the cable supplied in the box so this i have purchased from the local market this is for almost 1 dollar and it's very cheap by the way this is not supplied in the box so you have to get it from the local store so by this cable you can unleash the full potential of your mi 4i so first things first before we begin Uh, we have to install an explorer app although this phone has an explorer app that is inbuilt ex explorer app but still uh, i'll i'll suggest to go and download the es file explorer from the play store okay so let's go to play store and let's search for es file explorer So you have this uh, any suggestions? So let's go there and install. So let's come back when this is done. So now, as you can see, the app has been installed. So let's first connect our pen drive with uh, our phone. So this is the 2 GB transient pen drive. This I purchased back in 2007, and it's very old, by the way. Let's see whether this supports or not. Let's just plug in. one end to the otg cable and the other end of the otg cable to the phone so as soon as you connect you can see that there is a drop down menu that's a notification there that uh, a usb storage has been connected so let's click on that and this will take you to the explorer app but uh, this is a uh, i don't like this explorer app but you can explore the whole contents of your pen drive using the explorer app as well as es file file explorer so i'll show you in es file explorer let's uh, this is the first time install screen on to the side you will have something called as local just click on that and in local you will have the usb otg functionality so let's click on that and here you have the contents of your pen drive on your phone so it's very simple if you want to eject just there is an option over there from the drop down menu and there you go you have ejected the usb pen drive this is how you connect your pen drive to the phone the next in line is a 1 tb hard disk drive this is from wd passport this is wd my passport by the way and this uh, is a 1 tb device and it is not externally powered so there are very less phones that actually work with this uh, wd my passport because the simple reason is that most of the phones are unable to power this uh, device with with the use of their battery so let's see whether uh, xiaomi mi4 works with this or not so let's just connect one end to the hard disk drive and other to the phone so as you can see the lights are blinking that means the device is being detected let's go to the drop down menu and see whether there is an yeah there is an notification there so usb storage has been connected okay let's click on that this will take you to the phone's uh, inbuilt explorer and uh, on the other hand you will see that the my passport is still blinking which indicates that the it has been connected to the phone so let's go to es file explorer again local and then you have the usb otg over there So these are the contents of the hard drive accessible to the phone. That's how you connect your hard disk drive to the phone as well. So if you are traveling and uh, your memory card gets full due to photos, you can just transfer this into your hard disk drive or your pen drive. So this is a very handy tool when traveling. So to eject this uh, hard disk device, you got to just go to the drop down menu and just remove the Hard disk. 
to just get rid of this so next in line is a usb mouse this is a normal usb mouse and this is not bluetooth powered or uh, it's just a usb mouse normal usb mouse so we'll be connecting this mouse to this uh, phone and for that again you got to just punch in one end of the mouse to the otg cable the other to the phone and let's go to the drop down menu there's no need to go to the drop down menu by the way because you can see this cursor onto the screen so since the surface is a little bit rough uh, so the cursor is not moving properly but as you can see that the functionality is working so if you want to just uh, scroll through the menu you do it like this if you want to go back you can't go back because uh, your back button is outside the screen so the next in line is our usb keyboard and this is also a normal keyboard not a bluetooth powered so you got to just insert the usb of the keyboard into the otg cable and the other end to your phone so as soon as you insert you will find that there's a notification over here let's just zoom in a little bit so as you can see select keyboard outlook layout select keyboard layout so you just have you just have to do nothing it will be pre selected in your phone now let's just uh, press num lock uh, as you can see that led is blinking that means that the keyboard has been connected to the phone so let's go to notes and let's just type something to make sure that the keyboard is working so let's have a new note so let's just type something if you like this video please subscribe so if you do like the video please subscribe and you can use this method for typing notes i hope you find this useful and uh, if you have any questions just write it in comment box i'll surely reply thank you and have a nice time may god bless you